Shane Bieber uh, will get the start for the Cleveland Guardians and he joins us now here on MLB Central. Shane, we appreciate the time. I was telling Dero just before we came on, every time I turn on and see you guys are playing a game this year, it has been cold. It has been rainy. It seems like you guys are playing in the most trying conditions to start the year. Am I crazy? No, you're not crazy. I think we're crazy. We do that all the time. We did it last year. We did it this year. Um, hopefully, we can get some better conditions going forward. But, um, you know, this series in, uh, in New York uh, is kind of looking like it's following suit. But uh, hopefully, we can get some, uh, some clear skies and, and get all three games in. Assess the start to your season, Shane. You doing anything different pitch shape wise coming into this year that you were not doing last year? I think uh, I think I'm starting to find my stride a little bit. Um, kind of trying to always hold myself to a high standard, so I'm never really uh, that satisfied or happy uh, after my outings. But uh, the last one in Boston and Fenway was always fun. Um, was able to kind of gain some momentum towards the end of the start there. At the end, uh, locating my fastball down at the bottom of the zone, and uh, I think I've noticed early on this year that teams are uh, attacking me a little bit early, especially looking for spin early, um, and then especially with with two strikes down in the count. So um, just trying to switch it up, communicate with Mike, with Carl, with Cam, um, the rest of my fellow pitchers, just trying to figure out ways to get better and keep uh, offenses on their heels. I think we've done a good job of that so far. So um, yeah, like I said, I'm looking forward to, looking forward to. Uh, getting everything moving uh, in the right direction. Yeah, they kind of sit spin and you can explode that heater right by. Help us, help us define, because you're the perfect guy to do it. Are you throwing a cutter and a slider and a sweeper and a da -da 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 -da? <laughs> like take me through it. Like, are you throwing one pitch and manipulating it three different ways? Yeah, I'm not on the sweeper train yet. Okay. Um, I'm throwing a cutter a slider and a curveball and I, i'm with you like from the tv angles sometimes my cutter and my slider look very similar um for me off of the mound cutter is much more um horizontal and slider has a lot more downward bite to it i always like i'll go back in in between innings and i'll watch these pitches over the ipad and from the tv angle they look pretty similar cutter's got like uh, an extra mile or two uh on it but i'm i'm asking mike i'm like are those different and he's like those are entirely two different pitches so okay. as long as i'm getting feedback from from my guys and and the catchers uh <laughs> we're able to use them well shane tell us the secret sauce there in cleveland um this organization has a knack of turning out quality big league pitchers and the, and and many of you guys uh are, are not high draft picks uh, what is it that is uh, makes them so unique that they can uh really refine you guys and uh, put you at your best yeah, I've gotten that question a lot. I think um, if you had to boil it down to one secret sauce, it's got to be the draft. I think they do an incredible job uh, in the draft, whether it's high school arms or college arms, um, just finding guys with pitchability and then figuring out how to develop um, stuff or strength from there on. Did, did you think you should have went higher in the draft? I would have liked to. No, but uh, were, you a, were you a guy like going into that day? I know I went in the seventh round. I was sitting there going, eh, that's a, that was a smidge lower than I thought I was supposed to go. A guy like you goes in the fourth round. You're the ace of a rotation. Did a lot of teams obviously miss you on, uh, on draft day? Yeah, we had a lot of, uh, obviously, you always expect uh, the worst, hope for the best, but that was kind of right. Right in that, uh, you thought. that we anticipated and, and felt was, uh, you know, fair. And, and I'm happy with, uh, with how everything shook out for sure. All right, changing gears. New York City come in to play the Yankees. Are you getting out on the t I know the weather's been kind of crappy. Are you getting mm -hmm. out on the town? Are you a guy, are you a sleep in first meal at the yard guy? Or are you a get out and see the city a little bit and then go over? Got to get the body moving. You get it uh, moving. Yeah, yeah. I used to, uh, I used to sleep in, uh, kind of roll out of bed and, and go to the bus. But um, lately, I've found uh, I like to walk around, see some new things, grab yeah. some coffee, and kind of get get the body and the digestive system going. That that'll uh, improve my uh, my work once I get to the yard. So uh, I'm, I'm I've started to learn that, and uh, and it, and it helps to be able to see some some pretty cool cities along the way. Shane, uh, we recently at MLB Network uh, produced and aired a documentary on Terry Francona. Yeah. Uh, what's it like playing for him? It's amazing. Um, 
it's a it's a, he's a surefire hall of famer it's it's an honor it's a privilege um, not just for me but i know everybody in that locker room feels that way so uh we love him um and, and part of that is because we know that's reciprocated that feeling's reciprocated he loves his guys uh his entire staff all his players and he sticks up for us day by day so uh, i haven't watched it yet personally um but i don't think a lot of guys have i think we're actually hoping to uh to maybe get a little team viewing party oh um, the screener you know, yeah yeah even yeah like a little screening party i think that would be <laughs> Hey, I won't spoil it for you, uh, but but there is an element in the doc, Shane, where it is discussed that basically Terry Francona can manage a ball club and a dugout, but really anything beyond baseball is maybe not his his strong suit. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I don't want to say too much. Let's just say he found his niche. Yeah. All right. So morning show, we always ask what you have for breakfast. I want the coffee order. Take me through it. Well, we're in the studio. And the guys were nice Straight enough to up. Put me down to the uh, to the coffee shop. So I grabbed a uh, a latte with whole milk. Keep it simple. Go. Nothing nothing for breakfast yet. Yeah, extra shot of espresso. I like to you know feel it on an empty stomach and then we'll get something going. There right. you go. Well, Shane, we appreciate yeah, you thanks. joining us. Thank you very much. Best of luck to you uh, in New York, and best of luck to you and the Guardians the rest of the way. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you.